What's good, y'all? Let's get into it. Infinite Waste No Time. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> let go, y'all. Let go. All right, what we got here? What we got here? We got Jack TV, man. Jack TV, shout out to you. Thanks for the video, bro. We got somebody returning, though. Uh-oh. It says, boyfriend who cheated returns and things turn bad. Sheesh, bro. Man, you cheated, bro. Leave that girl alone, man. You didn't truly love her, bro. You gotta understand that, bro. Go find you somebody else to play with. You did. You love that person. You would never cheat on them. You wouldn't. You look at the next chick next to you like, I'm not finna kiss you. You ain't my girl. She thinks she finna, you ain't finna get none of this. If you really in love with somebody, you ain't gonna cheat on them. That's the last thing you're gonna do. You know what I mean? I can go home and I'm gonna get all of that, right? So you don't you don't want no straight cat just just out in the out, out in the wild. You want your own cat. You gonna go home to your own cat. You feel me? I've been there before though. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? I ain't love that person, man. I ain't love them like I thought I did. That's how I know what love is now. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't know what it was before. It was lust. I thought I loved them. I ain't love them, man. I just love what they can provide. I ain't love them, man. Mm -mm. It's hard. It's hard to love God and love other people. You know how hard that is. You know how hard that is. So that's why you don't even throw that word around like that. You don't just throw that word around like that, right? Right. Some of y'all may be throwing it around just because y'all y'all feel like eh, it's gonna get y'all some cootie cat, some hot pocket. Y'all want the hot pocket. Y'all want. You know what I'm saying? Y'all gonna learn though. The world is changing. So I'm hoping y'all going with the changing. I'm hoping y'all evolving. Hoping y'all changing with the world, man. Hoping y'all uh, um, not making so many mistakes, right? You looking at the mistakes that you made in life and you trying to um, correct them. Hope y'all asking God for forgiveness, man. And um, I'm hoping y'all enjoying y'all days, right? Y'all years, right? Days, years, months, seconds, just everything. I hope y'all enjoying it and being grateful for it, you know? Cause it's a blessing. You don't have to be here, right? But let's get into it, man. We ain't gonna waste no more time, man. Hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and make sure y'all send me some more videos from Jack TV. You did. We're getting this in real life. Let's see. All right, so yeah, if you suspect somebody, y'all let Jack know, man. So that way you can, you know what I'm saying, you can get your little show on. You know what I'm saying. And that way you can teach the world what's going on, what's really going on, right? If you suspect your significant other of infidelity and want answers or the truth, Jack TV is proud to announce we are now offering polygraph tests. If interested, reach out to Adjon Lee and DM me with the word polygraph and we will assist you. Enjoy the video. Wow, that's amazing. Okay. Welcome to another episode on Jack TV. If you guys have not already seen the episode of DK and Loyalty Test, make sure you guys go check that out now. Here's a quick recap. <laughs> <laughs> the fake teeth and all the blinking got to go. Bot, how that damn blinking you doing? You blink more more time, but he's scared. Like damn, nigga, can you see? Like you gotta ask him. You need some glasses, man. He all that blinking you doing? What's going on? Anyways. Bro, shorty, shorty, come on. Yeah, lies. Bro, this is smoking weed with a bitch in my fucking house. This is chilling with a fuck in my house. This is not saying shit. This ain't a What? That's crazy. You lying. That's crazy. I'm steady asking this. Why the fuck he got a bitch in my house and he not answering me, bro? This really gonna blow me. This really gonna blow me and zone me the Dang, he bold. I ain't gonna cap. At least, at least would have been outside, out back. <laughs> Been out front with my my little friend. She's like, no, that ain't your friend. You cheating on me? He's like, well, at least we outside. They in the bed, just laid up, Netflix, chill, smoking a blunt. <sighs> ain't no telling what's going on with that. Hey man, and she she beautiful, like right? She got she got natural hair and everything, hey, man. She got nice skin, you know. And she thick, you can see it. You know what I'm saying? She eat good, she talk good. You know what I'm saying? Everything look right. It look like she just came from work or something. You know what I mean? And then she got this man in the bed with somebody else. I ain't gonna lie. If whenever you mess with other people, like you don't even feel right being around your significant other or even touching them or even talking to them, because it's like 
unless you take a shower and stuff because you got other people energy on you right so you got thoughts in your head like man like i ain't gonna lie because i'm like when i when i was in that situation i definitely i was around i'm like hey yo what's up oh hello oh, i love you da, da, da. but it was like in my head i'm knowing damn i did this girl dirty i can't believe i just did that you see what i'm saying like come on now but i ain't gonna lie if you if you do it uh if you habitual with it you habitual with it you don't did it about a hundred times man you probably don't even care no more at that point right so there should be limits there definitely should be limits um especially with y'all women because y'all love taking people back right some of y'all so it should be limits bro after a certain many times it's like come on bro right Come on, bro. I keep putting this damn disc in and it's not working. I'm just going to have to buy a new disc. I, this disc obviously don't work. It's like you got to face the facts. A lot of y'all don't want to face the facts. Right? Face the facts. The truth shall set you free. Literally. <laughs> Literally. Slide. Slide. I'm trying to figure out, like, okay, I'm just, hey, I ain't trying, I ain't trying to be messy right now. All right, look, check this out. Just check this out real quick. Why they always, ain't nothing wrong with you, but why they always downgrade? Like, how you gonna, <laughs> how you gonna treat on your girl with a nine and she a ten? It don't make sense. You got a ten and you go for a nine. I was gonna go lower than nine, but we gonna stop right there just to be respectful. You feel me? Just to be respectful. How does that even make sense? It makes no sense whatsoever. Literally at all. I'm not gonna lie, I don't feel safe. I don't feel safe in this environment, in this situation. It's just getting too crazy. Bro, we gave it to me to bro. I keep on touching it, bro. We keep touching it. Yeah. Keep touching it for no reason, bro. When you got cut, bro. Yeah, it's gonna make me start touching y'all in this bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not about to do nothing to that girl, bro. I just don't. Okay, but, 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 but listen, bro. Listen. But how I look, you keep touching her. Stop touching her. For no reason. That's the only reason why we here, bro. We can leave. And you just jump that and have a conversation like, bro, that's it. Hey, he got Jack going crazy. He ain't never seen Jack go crazy. But he right, bro. Don't touch her. Literally. And I'm actually glad Jack and I'm standing up for Shawty. Because it's like, there's a lot of people out here who won't stand up for Shawty. Right? They're not going to stand up for the women, right? They're going to let these women get beat, raped, mistreated, mishandled. And they're going to sit there and do the same thing. They're going to talk about it. They're going to listen to it. They're going to be like, oh, look, look y'all girls, watch out. Because you'll have something. They'll listen to y'all stories. They'll listen to everything that don't happen to you. And then they'll turn around and do the same thing to you. That sounds crazy. You thought this person must be your friend. You thought this person supposed to be someone who's supposed to give you like peace in your life. And then they end up doing the same thing to you. So you gotta really watch it. You gotta really watch it. Dang, that's crazy. Please, please. That's all we asking for. That's all we asking for. I wanna know from now on, can I start bringing in here and kicking it? No. Cool, she knows she cool. Y'all need to pull. Like slide, for sure. Y'all be the right, gang. Hey, 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 hey. Chill, chill, chill. As soon as we started getting somewhere, we started getting a good conversation. I started figuring out some things. It's like, he got right back on immediately, right back on. So I just feel like there's no point in continuing to film. I got my answers. I got my clarity. I know what's going on. I thank Jack TV for helping me out. I thank everybody that helped me film there, all, you know, all the crew. But honestly, just that's a he you also. Know, so I'm done. Although this loyalty test ended very badly to the point where police were called, both individuals agreed to come back and be a part of the podcast. However, Kayla had stipulations, and those stipulations were she did not want to be in the same room as D. We tried to honor Kayla wishes, but D ended up arriving at the same time Kayla was supposed to be leaving, and this happened. You fucking Mason, what the hell are you talking about? Kayla, like, is that serious? Okay. Dang. Yeah, she was trying to do her part. Da da, da 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 and get out. Dude, and they're walking through the door. She like, now he trying to talk to her again. And that's another, that's another thing, man. 
<sighs> when people are guilty, like they try to like explain their side and stuff, man, you can't. It ain't. It ain't no explaining. What said was said. What was done was done. It ain't no explaining. You can't explain that. You can't get past that. I'm sorry. There's no way. The brain ain't gonna forget. As much as you try to make it forget, you ain't gonna forget. Somebody come and slap your grandma in the head, you ain't never gonna forget that. You ain't never gonna let that go. I'm just saying. It's just, it's like, come on now. Bro, you done said all this hurtful shit. I ain't say nothing crazy about you. I ain't say nothing crazy to you, girl. Watch the entire video so you guys can understand and see how it unfolds naturally in real time. I, Do I, not skip. I personally I, collaborated with Uplevel to help put a guaranteed $250. How you going to say not skip and put this sponsor in my face? Then, it's over. I skip. Um, everything was cool afterwards. The next day and stuff like that. And then a week later, you reached out to me and basically said, y'all wouldn't get anymore. So that's what I kind of want to talk about and get into the whys and like what happened. Um, honestly, I just feel like we are just two different people and we're just in two different places. And once that situation occurs, it's kind of hard to bounce back for something like that, you know? Mm -hmm. It's kind of hard to move forward for something like that. But I still, you know, I still love him to death. You know, no bad blood, no hard feelings. It's just, we're just on two different pages. Okay. So, uh, okay, okay, okay. Why, didn't, why didn't you want him to be here? I didn't want him to be here because I like to protect my energy and my space and it just work. We got different energies. That's just it. We just got different energies. And mine is just like, it just clashes with his, honestly. And I just felt like he should have his own platform to speak and say what he wants to say without anybody interrupting or giving their other opinions. Mm -hmm. Just like, I feel like I deserve the same platform mm -hmm. to say what I want to say. Like, Respect them, please. Yeah, for sure, understood. Mm -hmm. Do you care to go into detail and express some of the different spaces that y'all are in in your relationship as to why you feel like y'all not on the same page? Yeah, like my overall life goals and things I'm trying to do don't really align with what he's trying to do. And maybe that will meet later mm -hmm. in another path. But right now, I'm just trying to be outside. I'm trying to have fun. I'm trying to flourish, you know, I'm trying to just grow and prosper, and that's what I'm trying to do. So, you know, maybe that'll meet in the middle one day, but for right now I'm doing me, and hopefully he's doing him. Did the test have any impact on how you feel about it? No. I was feeling the way I was feeling like before that test happened. Mm -hmm. Honestly, like, that just accentuated what I was already feeling in the right. first place. That just, like, that just did it in, for real. Like, everything else was already... Ooh, ooh. Like nah, you tripping? Like no, I've been feeling this from the get go. It ain't, it ain't nothing new. I'm just now finally expressing it. Like this is what she's saying. And most likely she been seeing red flag after red flag after red flag, and then finally he was just like, man, all right, we ain't doing this no more. And that's what I was telling y'all in that other video about death and rebirth, about Good Friday, about resurrection, Jesus, and all of that stuff. I was telling y'all about that. It's death, death of anything that you, you don't want to mess with, death of liquor, death of weed, death of drugs, death of uh, bad people, death of bad energy. It's death of all of that stuff that you don't want. Anything in your life that you know for a fact that you don't like, that you don't want, that you know ain't supposed to be in your energy, all them bad vibes, it's death of that and rebirth. Rebirth into the new world, the new beginning, the new money, the new everything, the new era, the new world with God. That's what's going on. That's why everything is hitting the fan, right? Especially before summertime. People ain't waiting the summertime. They're like, man, I got to plant my seeds now, and I want to plant these seeds, and I don't want no bad energy, no bad juju on my seeds, right? So I'm going to plant these seeds. I don't even know. I, I need to plant my seeds. They're going to come out there. Oh, you know, you can't plant a seed right there. You know it ain't going to grow. I don't want to hear none of that. See what I'm saying? You don't want on that bad juju. Go plant your seeds. Plant your seeds where you need to plant them. Man, you know what I mean? Get your orange trees, your apple trees, your watermelon, man. And don't let them people tell you that it can't grow on that soil. It can grow on any soil. With God. Come on now. Don't let nobody tell you that it can't grow. Anything can grow. That's the phoenix coming out of the ashes, right? Right? Rising high. The caterpillar turned into a butterfly, right? Let's get it. That's called awakening. Don't be a bot. Well, you know what I'm saying? Like, everything's already lining up the way it's supposed to. So a lot mm -hmm. of people in the comments watched God's the video plan. and just thought that you was going to go back to him. How do you feel about seeing those type of comments, knowing yourself that that's not even the reason why y'all not together now? Well, that video has no bearing on, like, whether we was going to be together or not. Because, like I said, something happened afterwards to where we both mutually decided that this wasn't the best decision for us to keep going for our lives as adults. Mm -hmm. But... As far as me getting, if I was to get back with somebody in a situation, if you love your nigga, you love your nigga. That's what you want to do. I don't, I don't judge women or bash women who decide to get back with their nigga. They cheated. That is a problem, though. That's the problem I just told y'all. 
you love that man. You can only love God. You you can like him, you can deal with him and all that. You can't love two people, bro. I'm telling you that right now, you cannot do that. You cannot do that. You can show an express love, but 99% of your heart gotta be with God. You can maybe have that little 1%. I so I love you. I deal with you differently how I deal with the rest of the people, but you're only gonna get so much of that. Because you giving out y'all giving out too much. You're giving out too much. You're giving out way too much. Way too much. You got your heart on your sleeve, you're giving out too much. That's too much. It, 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 most of y'all's mama did it. Most of y'all's mama did it again and again and again and again. Mm -hmm. And that's, and that's why we're saying you got to break them cycles. These are the cycles. These are cycles that they've been talking about, them generational curses. These are things you want to break. You want to break this stuff. You want to break this stuff. You want to go ahead and nip it in the bud. Go ahead and ash that motherfucker out. You don't need that no more. We don't need that no more. Right? They've been trying to pacify us. Literally, they've been trying to pacify us. Getting us not to talk. Getting us not to speak out. Getting us not to be strong. Getting us not to be motivated. Getting us getting us to, to uh, push the next person under the bus. Right? Man, nip that in the bud, man. We ain't we ain't going for that no more. We ain't going for that no more. I'm to death, so right. I just don't judge women who make their own choices. It's just that wasn't a choice for me. Who initiated? Who initiated the split? Because you said you wanted to be outside. No, no, I'm just asking the question. You know what I'm saying? People want to know. So who initiated the split? Because you just expressed that you want to be outside and stuff like that. And from my perspective, being a man, mutual decision. It was mutual. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we talked to him. You two are decision. Okay. Okay, why get in a relationship with somebody if you know you want to be outside? What do you mean by that? Because it could be taken like long, you know what I mean? Okay, so I'm not in a, I wasn't in a relationship with him to go outside. I'm saying that when things end, something ends for something else new to start sometimes. Yeah. So you got to think throughout this time period, when you're in a relationship, it's not cool to be outside every day. It's not cool to be. You know, you want to be kind of a homebody to respect your man to a certain degree. Mm -hmm. but once that situation is done, ter terminated, nullified, mm -hmm. boy, yeah, I'm, I'm doing me. Right. For sure, for sure, for sure. Not like I've been plotting and planning. It yeah. just all happens within God's time and it was supposed to happen. All right. So uh, let's go through a little of the comments of what people were saying in the comments. It's true because about that when a Lotus test unfolded and we went in, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people feel as though y'all was in a domestic situation as far as him putting his hands on you and things of that nature. So can you... It was hella domestic because you got to think about it. If you're in a good relationship, right, a relationship with God, you want to be outside. You and your significant other want to show other people what a good relationship looks like. You want to show them what true love looks like. Literally. You want to flaunt that because they never seen it. Right? Two people who love themselves came together. Two people who love God also came together. You want to see that. We don't see that in the world. So you got to understand if, if if you can't go outside, <laughs> the devil got somebody brain and captive. Think about that. That's like being in jail. Tough. That's tough. Any of y'all guys or ladies that been to jail before, you know exactly what I'm talking about. As soon as you hit that cell, you're like, man, I want to be outside. You was like, I don't want to be in here. You know exactly what I'm talking about. That could only be the devil. The hell? <laughs> Come on now. So if anybody was to tell me I can't go outside, they gone. It's over with. <laughs> it's over with. Vice versa, it's over with. I told y'all, man, take that sword and cut that shit up, bruh. I told y'all. You think, you think, for example, I'm just going to put it in for example. If, if, if Jesus had a wife, you think he wanted you to be trapped and locked in a cave? Really? You don't think he wanted you by his side as he walked the earth and blessed the people? But man, come on, let's be real, bro. I mean, some of y'all ain't real enough. Come on, let's be real. Speak on that to clear anything up or I ain't never locked on. nobody down. I'm like, you wanna go to the club? Go ahead, have fun. <laughs> See you when you get back. I'm not saying I wanna go with you. That's totally fine. You can go. I ain't, I ain't never stopped nobody from doing nothing. You wanna go with the homeboys, you wanna go with the girls, whatever man, do what you do. I'm not stopping nothing. I don't control nobody. And and God always gonna let me know what's going on. I got direct connection. He gonna 
yeah, she out there acting crazy, or yeah, he out there acting stupid. Don't even worry about it. I'm going to handle it, though. I'm like, all right, cool. I ain't got to say nothing. You ain't got to say nothing. I'm going to take care of it. All right, cool. And it's as simple as that. You ain't got to say nothing. To the point, they feel so guilty, they have to come to you and apologize. And if they don't, that's totally fine. Karma going to bite that ass. Look at the world we live in. Y'all know what karma feel like. Y'all know what it is, bro. You got to be real. Y'all be trying to act and fake like an imaginary, oh, man, you, man, you know that shit biting your ass. <laughs> you know that shit biting your ass. Stop it. That's why That's why he was so trying to get his girl back and that because once that karma started hitting, he started thinking. He like, damn, I just fucked up. Bye. I just had a good one. Bye. And I done fucked around with this, this girl right here. She ain't even... She a 10 to somebody else, but you feel me where I'm going? I ain't trying, you know, I ain't trying to disrespect nobody, but you see where I'm going with it. Okay, so then, Come on now. Watch, if you watch the video, I watched the video twice now. Mm -hmm. If you watch the video closely, technically, neither one of us closed physically. We put our hands on each other. I mushed him, I pushed him out the way, he pushed me out the way, he placed me on the couch. Right. Now that I'm rewatching the video, I'm seeing everything. Neither one of us really just physically abused each other, but it was an aggressive situation. Yeah. I can agree. It was an aggressive situation. And I think that you and Sabrina... No, y'all physically abuse each other. Y'all physically abuse each other, bro. If I if I'm if I'm at school walking in a straight line, right, and I got negative energy on me, I'm looking at you and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna push this person down. Not I'm not trying to hurt you. I'm just trying to push you down. I'm gonna I'm bump into this person. That's negative energy. I'm a, I want to stop this person. They on a straight track. You going up Jake, Jacob's ladder right now, and I'm coming. I'm walking in your path, and I'm bumping into you. That's negative energy. That's negative energy. And then I bumped into you. So now what happens? Now you're off of your path. <laughs> now you gotta. Now you gotta look at what's in front of you, and now you gotta deal with this shit, right? But you was on a straight path. Y'all not understanding that? It don't matter if you just touched them. That's negative energy. And now you touched them, so you putting that on them. Which is why I tell people, don't touch me. Don't touch me. I tell people, don't touch me. Because there's energy in everything. Let alone you shaking hands with people. Man, come on, dapping them up. Don't do none of that. Don't do none of that. That is negative energy. And she don't even think it is. You, 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 wish the right person. They turn around and uppercut your ass. Damn what? Oh, I didn't even hit you. I didn't even touch you like that. All right. Man, that's negative energy, bruh. Don't touch nobody. That is not your place. Seriously. I already had it well. But, I mean, obviously, just tensions were high at the time. Yeah. Well, I get that. So, would you say behind closed doors? You put your hands behind your back and talk. talk. That's typically Communication is key. He would handle it if y'all was alone. It don't get no further. Keep your hands to your damn self. I don't know, he would never handle it like that. Honestly, usually when we have those type of situations, if we have a disagreement or something, we don't have those type of situations, but if we ever had had those type of situations, right. he would just walk away for the most part. He wouldn't even go back and forth about it. And me too, I'm pretty nonchalant when it comes to those situations, so I'm gonna walk away too. Right. Would you like going through like mixed emotions because one, at one moment you would smile, the next moment you'll be back mad. Like, what's, what, like is that just your personality? I feel like I'm a little thought on myself, to be real. Oh, gosh. <laughs> okay, so it was, a, it was a karmic. It was a karmic. It was a twin flame. I get it. It's like, to be I honest, I'm just really goofy. And it's hard for me to take situations seriously, even though I know it's dead serious. I've been in real, I can't even say these type of situations. I've been in crazy situations, life or death situations. And I will find the time or the opportunity to give it. So what's next for you? What's next for me? Just doing my own projects, opening myself up to new opportunities that come from the situation, um, and just really networking and just trying to get myself out there, you know, flourishing on my TikTok account and trying to get my shit up and up and up every day. So that's what I'm working on right now. Okay, somebody watching right now who's at home watching my content and saying, hey, I want to reach out to Jack to put my slip and edit to a loyalty test. You going through the whole process, what would you tell them before they do it? Before you do it, already assume that they not loyal from the jump before you even get started with the shit. <laughs> Why you so you get That's even more negative energy. Oh my Lord, Jesus. <sighs> you create your own reality. You are what you think, right? Literally. <sighs> I 
then, then that's what I'm saying. If you, if you got the thought already that this person not going to be loyal, why would I even agree to it? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Unless both people are on some bullshit. That's the only way. Well, yeah, you know, they're going to get that. I can get this. I, I guess we can work. Uh, yeah, I guess I can talk to them. Like, you want some bullshit. You want some bullshit. <laughs> like, no expectations, no intentions, just flowing. Just seeing how life going to go because we don't plan nothing. It's all in God's timing. It's literally that simple. It's so much more peaceful that way. And then all of a sudden, you try to make these plans. You try to do this, that, and that. And then when they don't come through, how do you feel? Exactly. And then he try to manipulate you. He gonna tell you it's this and that. He gonna tell you this and that. And you're like, ooh, nah, 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 yeah, nah. And then when it don't happen, how do you feel? Stupid. You feel dumb, right? <laughs> so to alleviate all the confusion, because only the devil causes confusion, obviously, right? Right. God told you the sun gonna come up. Didn't the sun come up? Huh? You can smell the rain before the rain even come. Like I told y'all, some of y'all are not connected. Y'all so in these devices, y'all be scrolling that y'all not paying attention. Y'all not seeing what's going on. It's okay though. One of your friends gonna unlock y'all brains. I promise you. One of your situations is going to unlock that mind. It's going to unlock that heart. I promise you. One of these interviews, one of these Jack TVs, one of these somebody is going to unlock that spirit with inside y'all. Your brain going to think differently. You're going to wake up like, wait a minute. You're like, oh, right. Because everybody don't get it at the same time. Everybody don't get it at the same time. Everybody can't learn everything at the same time. Right. But when you do get it, you're going to be like, oh, and it's going to be so much easier. Everything becomes so much easier when you come into the truth. I already assume they not from the jump, because if you, if your, if your shit not clean, if your, if your house not good, man, man, right. man hold up. Yeah, so uh, make sure y'all go check out that video. Uh, Kayla, I wish you the best. We will talk to D pretty soon. And, uh, appreciate you coming. I want to see this. I want to see why he did it. That's what I want to see. Yes, sir. Thank you. Do you want to stay? I can sit in the back for sure. Oh, you interviewing? That's fine with me. That's what, that's fine with me, but I'm going to slide in the middle of it probably. All right, yeah, that's good. I only asked Kayla did she want to stay because beforehand, after talking to D, he really was adamant about he wanted to have a conversation with Kayla. Now, mm. If she wanted to leave, she was free to leave. I did not force her to stay or any of that you got. But you manipulate. You didn't tell her that Kayla, that, that D wanted to speak to her afterwards. You see what I'm saying? You doing it too. You didn't give her all the details and information. You only asked her, hey, you want to stay? Even though he knew in his mind that what he just said, that he only asking her to stay because D said he want to speak to her after. But you didn't tell her that. You see what I'm saying about this manipulation bullshit? Not giving the full detail? So now she's staying. She just staying just for a little bit. Just, you know, she not knowing what's going to happen. This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm talking about. It's the bullshit, bruh. The fuck? I just wanted them to have a, a little conversation to see if they can get on the same page. But this is what happened. Of you didn't tell her nothing. What you think gonna happen? This is what happened. Duh! Playing the devil's advocate, bro. You didn't tell that girl nothing. Hey, bro, I'm at the gym right now, man. It hit, you know what I'm saying? Hey, bro, it hit, you know what I'm saying? This is what happened. They're gonna send me a little ad. Tell some two fifty dollar ad, man. Get that shit up out of here, bro. Oh, Appreciate you for coming. You can put the headset on. We live right now. Mike going. 
Congrats, everybody. Yeah, so we got D here, man. Like I said earlier, y'all saw Kayla, me and her chopping it up. Uh, if y'all haven't watched the last episode, make sure y'all go to the last episode. Ain't nothing against nobody in this video. I understand that everybody wasn't built the same, right? I understand that everybody ain't got discipline. I understand that everybody ain't got morals, they ain't got principles. I understand it. Everybody ain't built the same out here, right? I understand that everybody ain't children of God, right? I understand that. And that's the reason why these people act the way they act. It's totally fine. I understand it. It's totally fine. But you can always come to the light, right? You can always come to the light. You can always come to the truth. Or you can keep living in a lie. That's up to you, right? A lie is going to end you in hell. It's going to end you in hell. You're not knowing what's going on, why it's going on, blase, blase, blase. Heaven, trust me. <laughs> it's very peaceful over here, right? I don't want to talk to you. All right. So, uh, basically, I'm just going to ask you the same questions I asked her, bro. Uh, I had that little situation on Jack TV, but that's not the reason why y'all broke up. So, we here on your side. Uh, okay. I feel like the reason we broke up, to be honest with you, because it was a trust issue. Feel me? Like, it's like with her. I feel like she let this shit get to her head and go away. Like the clout type shit. You feel me? Like type shit. So it's like, I ain't from out here. I ain't from Houston. You feel me? So. When you do some weird shit, like, then in front of my peoples, like, I was embarrassed. So I, that's when I was like, damn, like, I feel like we should break up. I ain't mean to say all that hurtful shit to you. You know, that was never my intentions to hurt your feelings, Caleb. Uh, 100%. Uh, but you made me, though. You made me say all of that shit. I never put my hands on you. Here we go with the accountability. <laughs> She ain't no gun up to your head, bruh. She didn't make you say nothing. She didn't make you say anything. See what I'm saying? Here go where that accountability come from, right? People don't know how to take accountability. You open up your big ass mouth. You decided with your big ass brain, your big ass head to say what you said. Just like I said what I said. And you heard what I said. Y'all don't know how to take accountability. You don't know how to be a man for real. Just because they look the part doesn't mean nothing. Trust me on that. There's grown ass kids out here, bro. Literally. Y'all ain't noticed it yet? Y'all women know what I'm talking about. Let's be real. I never hurt you. I never, any type of way. Most I did was yell at you. And I apologize for that. And that's wrong. You don't yell at no girl. That turned you into a girl. You ain't never seen your grandfather yell at his your grandmother. You ain't never seen nothing like that. Where y'all learn that from? Social media, movies, stupid. Monkey see, monkey do, stupid. Come on now. Again, put God first. That's the only man you should be looking up to. You ain't seen him yelling at nobody. <laughs> he ain't even gotta do nothing. He can let the laws of the universe take care of you, right? Or defeat you. <laughs> Bring you down to your knees, right? The Tenosaur's energy. Y'all know what I'm talking about. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. And that's what's wrong with a lot of y'all lack of knowledge. Y'all don't want to read no books. Y'all want to look at everything else. But you feel me? You don't punch me, makes me. All type of shit. If anybody was abusive, it'd be you. Feel me? Like, right? Now you come pointing fingers. <laughs> that ain't what this is supposed to be about, man. See what I'm saying? I ain't even here to talk bad about you, though. Like, at all. Uh, I ain't got nothing but love for you. Feel me? That's on my end, but I'm gonna be a hundred with you. Like, all right, okay. I just, I just came home from like seven. Feel me? What's up? I mean, he was in prison and shit. So when I came home, like, I ain't gonna lie, I moved right to Houston. So Houston, I'm from Cincinnati, Ohio. Houston, mm -hmm. a, a whole different vibe, bro. It's a movie out here. Like, every, you feel me? Like, every day, like. So I ain't gonna lie, like, I did, like, 
face a little temptation type shit. I did face a little temptation and shit. But I ain't never act on it. Yeah, I done DM some people, talk to some people, you feel me? I ain't gonna fake she called me, and I owned up to That's acting on it, stupid. He just said he... <sighs> See what I'm saying? It's that contradiction stuff, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he said he didn't act on it. He said, I, I ain't gonna lie, I did DM a few people. And that's acting on it, stupid. Even if you look at a picture and be like, oh, she pretty, that's acting on it. That's called adultery. That's in the Bible. That's called cheating. You're gonna get caught. Well, what I, I told y'all, if the man isn't a man of God, it's done with. He gonna take you to hell. It's gonna feel like it on earth. It should not feel that way. Pay attention. I know y'all grandmothers taught y'all women better than that. Come on, bruh. Stop listening to y'all dumbass friends. They not in the church. Come on, now let's be real. Now, when your friend walks in, she be like, don't talk to me about it. Talk to God. That's when you know that's a real friend. I'm telling you that right now. She try to give you some advice out of her little small peanut brain. Don't take that advice. The fuck? <laughs> she ain't lived enough life. Trust me on that. She ain't God. The fuck? You know what I'm saying? Half y'all don't know who y'all talking to. They, these people got different demons and energies upon them. You don't know who you talking to. Pay attention to the words that they say. Pay attention to the fruit that they bear. That literally means a lot. Pay attention. Stay awoke. Pay attention. Stop falling asleep. Y'all keep getting manipulated out here and it's crazy. But guess what? We waking up. This is what this is for. Right? Like I was completely wrong. I was 100% wrong. Because I didn't want to be with nobody but her at the time. So, for sure. So she is like, I don't know. When she did her little shit, I call her on her phone. And then from there, it was just like, damn, like, can I really like trust this bitch? Yeah, like, I you a bitch, but I like, cannot really trust you. And it's just like, damn. I don't know. Where you going? Caleb, man. Oh, gosh. You don't call her the B word, bro. You ain't taking accountability. She's leaving, right? As she should. Both of y'all disrespect each other. You talking about she maced you? And you took her back? How does, I mean, she put your life in jeopardy. She put your eyes, your eyesight's in jeopardy and you're going to take her back? How stupid does that sound? That sounds dumb to me. There's billions of other women. When these red flags show up, y'all have to cut these people out. You have to. That's the only way to teach people lessons. That is the only way. And sometimes, yes, it has to be you. Sometimes it has to be you. I know. I know. Something. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I came up. All right, Jack. What's going on, bro? Let's see. <laughs> Oh, that ain't Jack up on. Yeah, Jack, what's going on? scared to cut the camera because Kayla looked him in his eyes. I told y'all about that fear. I told y'all. What would I tell y'all about that fear? They tremble on the inside. I told y'all about that fear. That lying look at you in the eyes and you, oh man, he, oh, he, he can't get out the cage, can he? I told y'all about that fear. It's real. <laughs> it's real. You 
You sure that dog don't bite? They start saying dumb stuff like that. You only supposed to fear God. What are you talking about the dog biting you? Who cares? Right? Yeah, the person who fears. That's who cares. Told y'all, bro. Literally. You got the real world and you got the spiritual world, but it's all combined. If you pay attention, you can see it. Literally. You can see the demons and you can see the angels walk amongst you. If you pay attention. Pay attention. Do not be fooled and manipulated out here. Pay attention. Open up your eyes. Make sure y'all get in the sun. I promise you. Your whole reality changes. The whole thing changes. Too much at that. Too much. I don't care. I don't care. It was fifty years. You can still leave. <laughs> like you feel me? And someone can always replace you. I ain't gonna hold you, right? I got out of jail, bro. I came out here. That was the first girl I met, and I started rocking with her. You feel me, right? It was. It was her though. She was holding it down. Like she was really holding it down, bro. Like in a lot of ways, I can't even really speak on on camera. Like I said before, if she hits you, she pulling away from you. It's cut. It's over. The red flag has been shown. You threw the red flag on the play. It's over with. The game is over. But instead, you decided to stay. Come on, bro. And Jack, he got to finish what happened. What, what happened? Y'all got out of the car. You said you... you, you you grabbed her arm or something. She pulled away. Why was she pulling away? Like, like Jack, you y'all jump into y'all jump into different things and not really talking it through. Uh, thank you guys, little girl. You feel me? Like she little. I ain't about to put my hands on her, bro. Like so, it's just like what the fuck. Like, so how we would handle arguments and shit is like, yeah, I ain't gonna fake. Like I would get so frustrated, I would yell. You feel me? I would yell a lot though. Yeah, but, but she would do little spiteful shit and just love vindictive shit. You feel me? Every time. But she even told me like, all right, okay. Uh, the first time I seen you texting other girls and shit when we first start talking, being in other bitches and shit. Uh, I, I told she she said this out of her own mouth. I told myself I'm about to fuck with this nigga life. You feel me? Like, like, I'm about to make this nigga go crazy. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna fake. I'm gonna be a hundred. She... 65% completed her, her, her goal. And then, right then and there, 
If you if you're in a relationship, bro, you pick this phone up, bro. You get on Instagram, Twitter, whatever. And you start talking to other girls. Just know in your head, I need to end this relationship before this chick find out. Because obviously that's what's going to paint you as a bad person. Now, why are you in this phone talking to other chicks? Most likely because you don't like something about your relationship or is not given. Right. And if that's the case, cut that shit off. Stop trying to string people along. That's your problem. You trying to find somebody else that's going to cope and that's going to help you on the side. And then forget that. Cut what's, what you got going on right now. We're going to cut this off. And now I'm really going to do me. That would have saved both y'all all this time. It's the same with the Christian Rock and the Blueface situation. It's the same thing with all these situations. Nip it in the bud. Y'all scared to let people go. Nip that in the bud, bruh. I promise you, you'll be better off without them. Trust me, more peaceful, everything, bruh. You want to go talk to them girls, DM and you can do that. Single, do your thing, bruh. She'll congratulate you. Oh, cool. But when you when you got to you doing that and then she find out and she like, ooh, I'm going to mess up his life. And then he's sitting there still trying to do, like, come on, bruh. Both of y'all are playing devil's advocate at this point. Both of y'all are throwing shots at each other. That's dumb. Both of y'all are going to get killed. Stupid. It says in the Bible, thou should not kill. It ain't just it ain't just physically killing people. It's also with words. It's also with the things that you do to people. Uh, uh, taking people energy, taking people spirit, taking people soul. That's killing them. They shall not kill. Again, y'all don't know y'all word. Y'all don't know y'all commandments. Y'all don't know nothing because y'all so focused on everything else. You put God first, and everything else is added upon you. But y'all don't know y'all word. Y'all ain't reading y'all book. Y'all not reading for understanding. Come on now. I ain't gonna lie to you. Y'all still playing with the I'm spirits. I'm gonna be a hundred. Yeah, this bitch done had my head fucked up. I'm like, damn, I done really hurt this girl feeling she in my car crying and shit. I'm like, damn, that shit, that shit hurt me. I ain't no, I ain't no horrible ass nigga, bro. You feel me? Like, at all. Like, not even a little bit. So I'm like, damn, like, that's what you really... He must be a cancer. He all has emotions. He actually care. <laughs> no, no, like, I'm sorry. She's, she's saying in the car, like, if you really want to break up, tell me you hate me. I'm like, man, it's the only way I'm gonna get this girl out of my car. I had to say it. I ain't had no choice but to say it. Like, I was really trying to get her out of my car. We in the fucking, we in Pearland. Yeah. You know, it's hella police out there. And I'm sitting here going back and forth with this girl. Why I'm on parole? Why I'm on parole? And I got some shit in my car. Mm -hmm. I, come on, bro. I can't be going back and forth with you. So I said what I had to say. Yeah, I hate you. Come on, man. Slide. Get out. Slide. Get out. She done stole me. Boom. She stole me. Like, she little, but she hit hard. Bro. She got work. I ain't gonna hold you. She can fight. She got work. I swear to God on everything. <laughs> everything I said, no. Hey, she hit hard, too. So she done had my shit loose. I'm like, man, get out. We tripping. She like, no, I ain't getting out, I ain't getting out. Man, I swear to God. I'm like, all right, I hate you. Get the fuck out of my car, I don't trust you. I don't, I don't believe none of that shit you talking about. She done stole me again, boom. I'm like, all right, get out, bro. I threw her a purse, I threw her a little rolling tray. And what else, like, I threw some other shit out of my car and shit. Mm -hmm. I threw some other shit out of my car, and then she was like, all right, that's what you really on. She turned around, shh, hates me. Hey, she makes me. I ain't, look, like I said, I did seven. I ain't never been maced. None of that shit. Boy, that shit hot. <laughs> that shit hot, gang. That shit hot. On soul, that shit hot. On bro. That shit linger, too. Look, it linger. Yeah, it linger. So this in my car in the closed space. She makes me. Look, all right, so boom. I live like, like eight, nine minutes away from her. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So I done drove to the spot. I done drove to my house, but I'm dying. You feel me? I can't breathe. I can't see. It's a, you know how Houston Road is, them hoes. Narrow as fuck. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like, if you can't drive, then you, you like, wait, through on them bitches. Mm -hmm. So I'm going down this narrow ass road. I can't breathe. I can't see. So for one, man, I'm on parole. What if I got pulled over and you know what's in my car? That's one. Mm -hmm. Two. What if I would have rent and went into that little ditch? Because she know I, this the way I got to go home. Because yeah. it's the only way to go home. Mm -hmm. You feel me? 
Yeah, how the fuck I'm gonna, gonna, gonna make it out to a neighborhood? What if somebody called the police on me? Cause then one of your neighbors was just right there. Yeah. What type shit is that? I could have died and went back to jail. Like any anything, anything could have happened. You feel me? Anything could happen. That's how I'm thinking about it, type shit. I ain't never been mates, bro. It's like since that shit came out to where everybody was saying all that negative shit. I ain't gonna lie, America fucked up my relationship, bro. On so like. Yeah. What? He's still not taking accountability. It's crazy. <sighs> uh, I ain't gonna hold you. Like for the past like two or three days, you feel me? My heart. That that bitch been hurting though. Like I ain't gonna fake. Like I ain't never. I ain't never like. Like I got locked up when I was young. You feel me? I ain't never been in a, like, real relationship. Like, I was fucking shit for sure, you feel me? But I ain't never, like, really, like, really, like, damn, had a girlfriend. Like, you know, I live with you. Like, I love you. I ain't never had that. So mm -hmm. when I lost that, I ain't gonna fake I lost a part of me. I'm like, damn, that shit hurt. Like, that shit really hurt. Like, mm -hmm. that shit really do feel some type of way, bro. So it's just like... But I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a good nigga, though, you feel me? I got money, I got a good job, you feel me? I'm in CDL school, I'm getting my shit together with shit, like... I'm handsome, I dress nice, you feel me? Like, I ain't, I ain't sweating shit, like, I ain't sweating nothing, bro. Like, it is what it is, I'm a free agent, like... But that did hurt, though, yeah. So, bro, uh, just going through your situation and to talk to people who's watching this podcast or watching our channel, we're learning situation. Exactly, yeah. What did you learn from this? Give them if they want to reach out, put their significant other to a test, or just bring their relationship in front of the whole world to see. What could you tell them? Uh, you no, know, like I said, as a black man, you feel me? As a man, period, in any way, shape, or form. Man, put that time into yourself. You feel me? Put that self care into yourself before you put it into these women. Get your shit together. For any of that, like before you put anything into these women, bro, because because for real though, she just chasing her love, she chasing her bag, however it go, like however however way you look at it, like she chasing her bag, so chase yours, man, like and invest into yourself, put into yourself, put that time into yourself. Cause uh, appreciate you becoming out, bro. That is not helpful advice. We gonna end up in the same situation as you. That's what most of these girls are looking for. That is not helpful advice. Find God first. Everything else shall be added upon you. There's plenty of people that give you millions of dollars. They don't care. Trust me, you put God first. A lot of these billionaires, a lot of these millionaires, they don't have God. So if you can bring them God, you can bring them peace, you can bring them valuable information, right? That's how you become a billionaire. You have to bring them something of value. Information is valuable. Why you, how you think these doctors and everybody else get paid so damn much? It's because the information is valuable. Not only is the information valuable, but the energy is valuable. Your energy is valuable. How you think Curry and LeBron and them do what they do? People be 30 years old talking about they back hurt, they arms hurt, they knees hurt, they legs hurt. Many people almost 40 years old, bro, they still going. Why? Why? Because the energy is real. You can't fake it. There's no faking it out here, bro. The thing about it is you can you can fake these women, bro. You can't fake us men. If y'all women start talking to men more, you might get some of these answers that you need, right? Instead of talking to your homegirl. Your homegirl, she going she going, you know what I mean? She she going to give you some helpful advice, but she just want to make sure that you okay. Me being a guy, I'm not. I'm gonna give you the truth. I don't care about your feelings. I'm gonna tell you what it is and what it ain't. Your homegirl, she gonna try to save your heart and your feelings. I'm gonna break that shit. But at least, at least, at least you got what's real, right? Cause words hurt sometimes. They do. Somebody telling you being stupid and you need to leave that person and you need to go on with your damn life. You be like, man, nah, man, they don't know what they talking about. Maybe they do know what they talking about. Really look in. Like I told y'all, you put God first, bro. Everything else shall be added upon you. Everything else. Because most of these people fear, right? They got fear in their minds. They got fear in their heart. 
as soon as you start talking about God, most of these people can't even listen to the conversation. They can't hold a conversation with somebody like that because they don't have God with inside of them. And that's what I'm telling y'all. You can understand who these people is by the fruits that they bear. That statement is a deep statement. It's a deep statement. It's not no, it's not a simple statement. Most of the statements and parables and all different types of verses are very deep. You have to read the statement over and over and over for you to truly understand it. And even when you think you understand it, you still don't understand it because there's always other sides of it. It's a multiple, multiple dimensional world, right? Multiple dimensions. If you don't believe that, go check your science book. Go ask, go ask your favorite science professor. You know what I mean? Because half of y'all live of the world. So go ask the scientists if what I'm talking about is true. And I promise you everything I said, they will tell you it's true. They gonna try to figure out how I know it though. Because they don't tap in with God. Not all of them. Trust me on that. Not all of them. And you can tell. I told y'all what to do. Test the spirits, bro. Test the spirits, bro. Bring, bring, bring a little snake around. Bring a snake. Bring a lizard around. And watch how these people freak out. Right? What I tell you? Bring a dog around. Bring a wolf around. A lion or a bear. Watch how these people freak out. Test their spirits. You you going to for sure know who they is. I told y'all about this, bro. People can't fake it. There's no way of faking this. No way at all. See y'all in the next one. We out. Peace.